Hey, April, is everything okay? You talked to Megan? I, yes, I talked to Megan. She was in the coffee shop and I had a half hour before the sisters picked me up. What did you say? I said it was nice to meet one of your friends and, and that I'm worried about you because your dad took away your painting supplies. Did you maybe think that was a little bit too much information for someone you'd just met? Well, I didn't lead with that. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was so important to you. Just wanted to make sure that someone was looking out for you, especially at school, because it seems like you're struggling at home right now. Why does everyone keep saying that? I don't need other people to tell me that I'm struggling. This isn't a struggle. I failed a couple of tests and I got grounded. It happens to teenagers all the time. I can handle it. Well, you seem upset. I'm upset because you and everyone else are inserting themselves into my life. Would you rather I leave you alone? Yes. No, I don't know. April, why did you come here? What? Did you come here just to yell at me for talking to one of your friends? You know that I need permission to go anywhere or do anything. I wouldn't just be able to call Megan. I don't even have her number. So why did you come here? I don't know. I thought you were cool. I thought you were different. But everything's just gotten all confusing now. What's confusing? Everything. I'm gonna need a little bit more information if I'm gonna help you. I just... April. What's going on? I don't know if I wanna talk to you about it. Who are you gonna talk to then? Because it's obvious that you need to talk to someone. And I'm here. April, I want to help you. But it's also my job to serve a community of children and abused mothers, so I'm gonna keep you in my prayers. But I am not gonna force my help on you. Wait. I do want your help. Okay. Okay, I'm here to help. No, tell me what's going on. I like Megan. Right? Is more than a friend. I see. I knew you wouldn't understand. I mean, I mean, you're a nun. Oh, oh my God! The first person I came out to is a Catholic nun. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's funny? Uh, what? No, it's funny. It's, it's funny you, when you say it like that. You, you just came out to a bisexual nun. <laughs> what? I'm bisexual. But you're a nun. Mm, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck is going oh, on? Shh. We're still the convent. Just maybe tone down on the cursing a bit. <laughs> right, okay, no biggie. Just hanging out with my friend, a bisexual nun, and asking her for advice about my crush, Megan. Yeah, my dad is gonna kill me. Whoa, shh. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> May I propose something? Sure. I wanna help you. And I think it is important that you talk to someone who understands you and who wants what's best for you. So I, I think we should meet for coffee or schedule a phone call every week or so. Fine. But I have a couple of requests. Okay. Please don't try to convert me. Okay, check. What else? Don't talk to Megan. Why? because I like her and I just don't want you getting all involved in my life. Okay. I can do that. Thank you. Uh, I have to go, it's almost four. Okay. 
Well, I'll see you soon.